When I was a kid, my grandmother, of course, both my grandmothers had uh, cast iron skillets. It was a big, sort of significant part of my upbringing in Alabama. I think anybody who came from the South had a very similar experience. But, you know, we spent most of our time in the kitchen. And the cast iron skillet was like this um, sort of holy artifact in there because all my favorite things came out of the cast iron skillet and it was also uh, very important that you did not wash this you didn't clean it you didn't put soap on it you didn't scour it uh, you know if you got a new one you would season it you would keep it in the oven uh, with the oven off when you weren't using it and then uh, you would just turn the oven on when it was time to use the skillet but you know the older I get from what I understand now you can wash the skillet like don't don't follow my instruction here but i really don't think it harms the skillet at all to do that um so in this song uh, i was using i like to take um, details objects and sort of use them as a, a way to travel back in time forward in time sideways in time um, but this one in particular sort of a talisman uh, it's like hang on to this idea of this skillet and what it means to you and then travel back to uh, my uh, younger days in Alabama and let me tell you the story and sometimes if you give people a detail like that that's sharp something they can hang on to then it becomes much easier to get them to follow you to where you want them to go as a songwriter and there are a lot of uh, images in this song, pieces of advice, adages, um, uh, southern, you know, wit and wisdom uh, that are various levels of trustworthy. And that, that's part of what I was working with here, the way things appear, um, the way things seem, as opposed to the way things are, which is a big issue in the South and has always been, and it's a big issue with me. Um, I like the honest, unvarnished truth of things. Um, but being a songwriter, I am somebody who decorates time with language. So it's, there's, a, there's a rub there that's very interesting to me.